Backer. Great to see you again. Congratulations for your team's victory. I want to discuss something which was just picked up in the interview of Reese Nelson concerning who's going to be starting in the, uh, in the FA Cup semi-final. Who do you want to see start? It's something Martin brought up as well. I want to get his thoughts in just a moment. What do you reckon Arteta's going to go with? Because a few players today certainly impressed and will probably think they earned a spot against Manchester City. Well, that's a good question. I think it's a tricky question, and I think that's what Mikel was expecting from the players, to put him in trouble by picking up the team who's going to start against Man City. But I believe the, the players reacted well tonight. They, they managed to, to, to have a good game. They managed to be solid, because we have to remember that Liverpool had a few chances, but uh, they managed to, to stay solid and, and to score two goals. Coming from mistakes, of course, but uh, it's not easy and it's never easy to win against Liverpool. They managed to do it. And I think uh, I think it's going to be tricky for, for Mikel to pick up the team. But uh, I would like to be a mix because tonight the players deserve to, to have a part or to play their part during the game. And uh, and of course, Aubameyang, we might start. That's why he probably rested tonight and, and other, other players might come also. But uh, it's not an easy question. It certainly isn't. Martin, who would you pick? I mean, Martinez, I presume, would be the one in goal. Yeah. But apart from him, the back, who's playing for you? Well, I, I think Tierney does, uh, did very well tonight uh, in the three. OK, there was a bit of a problem with the goal, but that's just getting used to the new position. So I'd like to keep him in the, in the back three. I think Saka on the left of the, uh, is, as the wing back. Obviously, Bellerin now comes back in on the right. Aubameyang would play... Top left, Lacazette in the middle, and Pepe to the right if Saka's going to play wing back. Um, and then midfield is it's more tricky. Sabias has to come back in. He's been the best midfield player. But does he play Xhaka or does he play now Torreira, who looked pretty good tonight? So you, uh, Xhaka did well from set pieces today. I, I'm not normally a fan of the way that he plays, but he might play in there. So there's there's food for thought, but the young goalkeeper, is, since Leno has been injured, has been absolutely excellent. So that's been a real plus for Arsenal. And um, it's not clear cut who's going to play. So Man City will be guessing a little bit. We know they've got incredible options. It's the FA Cup semi final. But, um, you know, Arsenal now will feel good about tonight, although they only had 30% possession of the ball. And of course, we know that um, Arteta is all about possession. So that wouldn't have pleased him. Back, are you in agreement with. Uh... Martin's assessment of who should be starting against Manchester City there? Yeah, I believe. I believe coming from uh, and starting from the goalkeeper, I think he's doing great. It's never easy to, to step up after an injury, but he's doing quite well. He's played with some confidence. He still needs some adjustment, but it's normal because he needs some, some, some time to, to feel even more confident. And coming for other players, talking about Shaq Saka. He's been the best player, even so he's 18 years old. He's been more decisive. I'm not sure about the right side, whether he gave some time to Suarez or Bellerin's going to start. I don't know. But uh, the other players look so, quite good. Aubameyang might come back. Because it will definitely play. And, uh, and yeah, I think it's a good... Yeah, Martin? Cedric is uh, cup-tied for, um, for the... Um... For the semi final, he played for Southampton, yeah. So, yeah. but I think he might have thought about playing him. I think Bellerin's got competition on his hands for that place. You know that position better than anyone else. <laughs> um, and it's whether Bellerin has sort of trained on, you know, has he, has he developed? Is he as quick as he was? And is he creative enough and a good enough defender? And uh, Cedric is. is doing, you know, he's a play signed for four years now. He signed a new yeah. contract for four years. So it's going to be quite a battle, isn't it, for the right back position? Yeah, remember you still have made the nice. We did quite well last season. Yeah. With, yeah. He's quite powerful and he's fast. So he, he could be containing uh, Graham Sterling also. He's another option. Didn't Arteta but, say when he did play him as a right back, I'm talking about Maitland Niles, didn't he say he's not a right back? He actually said that publicly. So you do question whether that was to motivate Maitland-Niles or is that in his thinking? I'm not entirely certain, Martin. What's your assessment of that? This was obviously before the lockdown I, I, and so forth. I do feel that Maitland-Niles has got um, some uh, really talented. Um, he just has, gives you the feeling that sometimes he's, he's never in a rush, doesn't do things, maybe things quick enough. 
But recently when he's come on, he has more urgency in his game. So I can see a player starting to emerge, but they're talking about maybe midfield. As a young player, he played in front of the defence, and that's where he wants to play. But to play there, you have to be exceptional in possession when you play under Arteta. And that's where Arteta needs to find a balance. Uh, Socrates sits on the bench again tonight. We assume it's because he, he doesn't think he's good enough in possession. But I actually think he's Arsenal's best defender. But, you know, you, he's the manager. He has to decide what qualities he wants in the team and what balance he's looking for. But Maitland Niles is a player that I think is very interesting, but hasn't fulfilled his potential yet. yet. And that's down to Arteta as well. The manager has to get the best from the player. All right. Well, I've only got about three minutes left of you, Becca. So you've obviously played for both sides who are facing off in the FA Cup semi-final. I'm pretty certain your heart's probably going to lie with Arsenal because you played far more for them, far longer for the Gunners. But what does your head say about the result? Not the heart. No, the result. I would like maybe Arsenal to perform because I would like them to to be a bit more happy, to have some happy time, especially after the hard season they have and they're having. And, uh, and because my, Mikel is my friend also, I would like him to be successful and to win a trophy. And of course, I have friends on the other side, but you know, <laughs> already. So if they can be nice with Arsenal and not play full potential, but you know, it's difficult because they are machines, you know, they play a bit like, like Liverpool and they play with total freedom and they have possession. So it might be tricky for Mikel to, to get the plan, to keep the position and to keep, uh, to keep up the, the ball away from the team. Because, you know, we all know City going forward, they're very dangerous and we, they play with a lot of confidence. Your prediction? I see extra time. Yeah. And uh, I see, I see Arsenal, Arsenal winning because they've been performing in the FA Cup. OK, I, I was actually, as you said that, I was watching Martin just to see how his face was and he was smiling and his <laughs> eyebrows went up, his ears perked up a little bit. You seem a bit happy there, Martin. Do you know, I, I was doing TV at the weekend. It was Arsenal Spurs and, and I was with Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Jenis, laughing all the way through because he loved it. And tonight I feel good. Jo, jo, Jose, don't take this the wrong way, but suddenly, suddenly I'm thinking all things are possible. And Arsenal could even beat Man City at the weekend. But then I start to think, no, no, De Bruyne, you know, he's like, they're like paintbrushes, aren't they? His feet, you know, and you look at Silva and now Foden. So how can we beat them? But in the FA Cup, it's been done before. Arsenal last time in the semi-final two, but I think you might have back. Were you there then? 2017, you were playing for maybe Man City then? I was, and yeah. Arsenal, beat, Arsenal beat them in the semi-final, went on to win it, beat Chelsea that day. So I'm hoping for some of that. But um, really, I think um, Guardiola now is... They're in the zone. They have the Champions League to win. So I think maybe Man City will win this. But Arsenal will give a good account of themselves. Be sure of that. Wigan won the FA Cup once. So anything can happen, really. Anyone can win it. Exactly. exactly. Arsenal have won it more times than anyone else. They have a massive history in this competition.